guys welcome back to my youtube channel guys i'm wearing ali julia's malaysian curly head i'm feeling generous and um, i want to gift two of you guys with some hair from ali julia so in order to enter the giveaway you must follow all the rules rule number one you must be subscribed to my channel rule number two you must be subscribed to ali julia's channel rule number three you've got to follow ali julia on instagram and next this following steps are very important so i'm going to have a few hair links in my description box down below so what you must do is click on one of the five links select your favorite hairstyle each link is going to be numbered one to five you need to comment down below your favorite hairstyle by just listing the number so number one two three four or five put your ig name down and your email address two winners will be chosen and um by leaving your email address obviously you guys will be contacted and your hair will be shipped to you the price of the first winner is an 18 inch closure with one 18 inch bundle and two 20 inch bundles and the hair is going to be grade 7a it's going to be the natural 1b color the second winner is going to win a set of makeup brushes so i'm really happy because this giveaway is actually international so anyone can enter you need to make sure that you're subscribed to ali julia's video um, youtube channel and i would also so advise turning on your notifications because the winner will be announced on their channel so make sure that you're paying attention because you don't want to miss out the winner will be chosen at random so good luck guys i'm trying to bring y'all in on the finesse and let's get straight into the video so guys i am on the mission to find the perfect strapless bra literally it was only this year i really started to embrace my tatas and really started to take my time with them appreciate them nurture them so everything that i'm doing i'm not a pro at it whatsoever i just wanna that's just a disclaimer of mine that's just a disclaimer that i'm gonna make i am not a pro guys and i don't please don't look at me like a pro i'm literally i'm doing this with you guys like we're on a journey together so i'm always open for advice i'm always open for things you know that's why i appreciate the comment section a lot and we be having a lot of convos down there so i love you guys for that i've worn a strapless bra twice in my life actually go out in a strapless bar twice i've just never felt 100 percent comfortable it makes me feel so insecure i feel i don't feel secure and when i say insecure i i don't mean like like insecure i feel like i'm not secure so i feel like my tatas are literally gonna jump out that's how i feel so i've just written off strapless bras i just made up my mind and i've said no to strapless bar like i will never wear one i don't feel the need to and that's just it until obviously now i have embarked on my big tata journey and i'm loving my tatas like i'm really loving my tatas now i i'm trying new things out they're on my chest i see them every day but it's, i i they were just there but not there at the same time now that i've embraced them i can't ignore them anymore they're there and i've got to deal with them it is prom season wedding season and it's just summertime like summertime is a time of year where people wear a lot of of strapless clothing and i feel like it's the perfect time to put out a video on strapless bras bearing in mind guys this is, i'm gonna have several videos this is, i actually think this is gonna be part one because i was kind of happy and i wasn't happy with this and like i said to you guys this is a trial and error for me until i get it right i bought five bras from five different companies some of the prices are quite low some of the prices are quite high i just wanted to test out which one works best even when shopping for strapless bras not a lot of people know how to and in all honesty guys i didn't know how to shop for it so i went into one of the stores i'm not even going to say what store it is because i was not happy whatsoever they completely misled me and the, the bras that i got i'm not really happy with i'm just going to show you guys either way because i know it can help some of you guys that are smaller than me in terms of sizing so guys the first bra that i tried on is from asos and it's this beige bra here so i've got this bra in a 32g it comes with straps but obviously you have the option to make it strapless at the back there's three hooks and then there are three like level which is obviously fantastic for big tatas you with two hooks you're setting yourself up for failure really and truly two hooks would never be able to sustain the weight on your chest like what is you doing girl like you need to start buying bras with three or four hooks even in terms of comfort it was okay i felt like i was sagging a little there was side boob spillage i wasn't happy with that i would definitely get a bigger cup and um, upon doing research on my own like guys sometimes it's just best to do your own research the specialist always isn't a specialist do you get what i'm i looked online and when i looked online it said that you should get a cup your cup size should be bigger but the band size should be smaller 
duh. I'm just gonna exchange this from ASOS and get a bigger cup size, but I actually think they only go up to G and I'm a K cup, so I'm just gonna have to return this, unfortunately. And that's that. Something else I didn't like was the fact that the back, obviously you guys won't notice on camera, but the back kept sliding down and it was definitely because there wasn't enough of that sticky material thing so it was just sliding down every time it didn't keep me up so guys up next is this strapless bra that i got from curvy kate as you guys can see this one actually has four hooks it's still level one two and three but it's got four hooks so it's an extra thick band at the back which is fantastic again that's more support with this bra i had mixed emotions about it it felt good but then it felt small it felt kind of tight the insides of it this sticky support bit on the inside is slightly thicker than the asos one and it doesn't go in a wiggly line i feel like that's just annoying like i don't think it really makes a difference to be fair i just like that it's a, like a thicker straight band top and bottom just pretty straightforward this one again the fit was okay i just believe that the bra was still small it comes with straps but then the strapless option is there see but on the inside there's like a sleeve bit to be fair i don't really know why that's there i'm not gonna lie um i don't see the purpose of this when i first saw it i saw like they had the lines in the center and around i actually thought it would have been like a little bone in there to keep my boobs kind of structured so that it doesn't lose its shape and stuff on the inside but it's not it's quite bendy i think it's just the style and the stitching of it i would have kind of liked that because sometimes i feel like in strapless bras my boobs get confused it's like oh my god so much freedom we don't know what to do so i feel like i definitely need something with more structure not only is the size um a slight issue but i could just go up so guys the next one that i got was from a company called goddess yeah the company is called goddess bar but i actually got it from bare necessities which is an online store and they stocked this bra when i searched their strapless bra this one was actually meant to be their best one their best seller so i thought let me grab it this is the adelaide Day bra um i got this in a 32g with the band there are only three hooks and then three levels so with this one i don't know if you guys can see properly but there's actually none of that sticky thing so i'm literally <laughs> when wearing this one you've just got to pray that it holds on but then again sometimes you find that when it doesn't have the the sticky thing it holds on better when you sweat the sticky thing will slip either way but remember how i told you guys i wanted the corset type of bone structure bra i spoke way too soon because this bra these tatas are literally gunshots i was just like what's going on but then when i tried it on it was actually um it was okay i wish i really really wish i got this in a in a bigger size way bigger it's pointed at first when you put it on it expands out can you guys see so then your boob your nipple and everything will fit in this circle here so this is how it fits on your boobs like the technology behind this like the theory and all that it actually it makes sense this bra i'm 110 percent going to exchange it for a bigger size so guys the next the next <laughs> bravissimo guys bravissimo was the worst worst company out of all of them what is this what 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 it what is this like i don't i don't I, I i was so disappointed that i completely forgot that i do this like review bit at the end i literally just spoke i just i done i spoke in the camera whilst i was trying it on sis like it's it's ridiculous i'm not even gonna like it's like like it's actually dumb i'm not gonna sit down and even talk about it i'm just gonna just rip it up the material to me doesn't make sense i feel like it feels like it, it, it almost feels like what's that pvc like that fake leather jacket material that they use the one that looks like if you ever had to be set alight set on fire you would go up in flames in 0.05 seconds that's literally the type of material this bra is and for me that's a no bueno structure to it is just a bit weird i feel like for a big busted woman there should be so much more support and there was none of that whatsoever so this bra gets a minus three for me so yeah if you're a g cup try it out but girl it's a no for me last but absolutely not least <laughs> the one Bruh. guys i've been hearing i've been hearing noise 
about this company for the longest and i just haven't i don't know i've just thought to myself uh, meh. i wonder if they cater to my size and i've just never thought to try them out look at how big this looks like a g cup to me the rest looks like a joke this looks like a g cup and i was like yeah so i thought this is gonna fit i tried it on it was small hello hello uh -huh. So, so guys this bra you see what i've been telling you guys sometimes my tatas need like a it needs it needs the bra needs to be a man and just when you look into this cup what do you guys see you see some hair. guys this is everything that i've been talking about this is everything that i've been looking for it's got hands so it literally it literally tells the tatas to stay in place i love i'm here i am here for wonder bar the hands part isn't so bendy obviously the inside bit is more bendy because there's nothing there but the hands part is quite firm so it will ensure that your tata stay in place how fantastic is this it's got like the tiny dots and then it's that material that grips onto you so guys you know you are not going anywhere because instead of a stupid little strip it's got it everywhere and it's got it at the bottom as well so sis you are not sliding this is not a slip and slide i love the fact that there's a dip in the middle because then you can wear one of those like low cut dresses or low cut tops and you won't be worried about your bra on show and that's fantastic so i was really really happy with that the only thing that i thought that they could improve on is the back it's quite thin it should have been a little bit thicker like maybe this wide but honestly guys it didn't really move so that's not an issue it's just like a little area where they can improve on this was actually a 34g and i'm not gonna lie the waist felt so tight when putting it on and turning it around when i had to turn it around to face forward in comparison to the 32 waist that i've had that i've been wearing and i and i bought on the other sizes and I think it's because of this. This grip material thing made it so hard for it to turn. It was so weird. So I'd have to get a 36 in that just so that I feel comfortable and a bigger cup. But guys, honestly, this had the best fit. It was so comfy that I have nothing to say about this bra. I have nothing negative to say. And the only negative thing is that obviously it was too small, but that has nothing to do with the bras. Obviously, that's me. And I'm gonna reorder it in a bigger size. And I'm very 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 excited i am very pleased with this bra it did me well i'm not gonna lie to you guys it actually did me well and i was very surprised that is it for me and this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it hopefully this can help some of you guys if you're a g cup these are the bras for you sister like <laughs> if you need like i'm gonna list everything in the description box anyway so you guys check out the different websites and don't forget to comment down below let's talk i love talking with you guys you guys don't even understand i love love reading your comments and i love replying like i love having chats with you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at vintinelli follow my big tata page on instagram as well it's called the big tata committee i'm gonna have it in the description um comment down below where you get your strapless bras help a sister out you guys have recommended a few bra companies that i am going to check out and i am going to do a bra haul of where i buy my bras so this time guys my bras are actually going to fit give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe have a lovely 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 week and i will see you guys in the next one love you so 